Hi everyone, if you're new here to the channel, my name is Ovi. I'm a third year medical student and welcome to Ovi Med. So, welcome back, finally, I am back. I'm in third year now and this is a new setup. This is a new place, new year, new setup. So get used to seeing this background. Uh, I didn't figure yet how I'm gonna place everything and what the setup is gonna look like, but I'm pretty happy with this for now. Anyways, so let's get into the video. So I think I've been waiting to be in the hospitals for the past, I think six or seven years. Like really when I imagined being in medical school, this is what I imagined, being to the hospitals, going to the wards, seeing patients, learning off of like patients and stuff. And yeah, after seven years of intense studying, um, I'm kind of tired in being in the classroom. I was getting kind of repetitive in terms of routine and everything. I needed a change and going to the hospital, it's gonna be such a welcome change and a very needed one, at least for me. And I did quite a few observations days since I finished high school, basically. Uh, I've done a lot of volunteering also in the meantime, and it was always in the hospitals. So I've been in the hospital environment, like I've had a good amount of exposure, I think, um, to what being in a hospital is like. And finally, I'm gonna get to be there in a hospital as part of my medical school curriculum. So not, not as part of a like extracurricular thing that I'm doing or as part of a research project. I'm here because my actual schools tell me to be here. So this is a, a very welcome uh, change. I'm quite excited to get started, honestly. I don't feel nervous at all. I don't feel stressed at all. Uh, I know some of my friends uh, feel a bit anxious, like, oh, what if like um, a patient asks me a question and they don't know the answer? Well, you just say, I don't know. I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look into it for you and I'll, I'll get back to you. Um, like, I don't know, I'm, I'm not stressed at all. I'm just, I'm so ready. I'm so ready to get started. Like, you have no idea. <laughs> So quick disclaimer, um, this video is actually recorded three weeks into med school, into starting my third year, because I didn't have all the information that I wanted to share with you um, back then at the, first, uh, at the beginning of the semester, but this is exactly how I felt. And I wrote it down. I actually have the script right here um, on my phone. I don't know what here, why there's like so many lines. Okay, there you go, now you see it. Um, so yeah, despite this, is, despite this being three weeks in, um, I still remember like very vividly how I felt and how I still feel about going to hospitals. So um, I don't know how to describe the feeling, but it's just so nice when you finally go and like see a patient by yourself and then you're like, oh, hi, my name is Ovi. I'm a medical student and I'm here as part of the cardiology team. And would it be okay if I do a quick history and a cardio exam on you? And then like you just talk with the patient, you do the physical exam, then you present that over to like your attending or your consultant as they call them here, um, or the intern, you know? Uh, it's just a really, really nice feeling that I've been waiting for, like that I've been waiting to do for so, so long. It just feels like you're getting closer to your end goal of being a doctor. So step by step, you just, you know, getting there slowly and it's just, a really really nice feeling like uh, an excitement feeling it's like the adrenaline is just uh, it's really nice so going into hospitals is really the part where you learn how to become a doctor in the practical sense so of course in your lectures you learn all about the diseases the pathophysiology and all that but when you're in the hospital that's where you learn really like how to communicate, how to act around patient, how to do physical exams, just practical stuff. And this is the part where, you know, you really have a, a great exposure to what the field is like when you're rotating through different specialties. And that's the part really where you sort of learn how to become a doctor. So we still have lectures, but we spend the vast majority of our time inside the hospitals. So something quite interesting that happened a few days ago is that we had our stethoscope ceremony or the transition ceremony. Uh, back home in the US, it's called the white coat ceremony, but we don't get white coats. I'll get into that later. Um, so yeah, it's a transition ceremony. Oh, the suns went down. Um, I hope the lighting is still gonna be good, but yeah. So <laughs> uh, it's a ceremony to celebrate like everything we've accomplished until now 
take the oath and basically just um, mark the occasion that, we tr that we're transferring from the classroom to the actual wards with real patients. All right, so now I'm gonna read you a little excerpt from um, the, the, the ceremony basically with the description. Um, I'm gonna link this document in the description down below where you can find, here you go, just trying to focus. Um, you can find like uh, the description that I'm gonna read this paragraph here. You're gonna find the list of the presenters, you're gonna find the oath and then the list of all um, our cohort, uh, if you're interested. So um, that I found that this is a very, very good summary of what the ceremony is. So um, the ceremony is a ritual to symbolize and mark the important transition for medical students from the classroom into the clinical setting. It also provides an opportunity for the faculty to set up a framework for students to understand the education that is to come over the course of the next three years. Taking an oath of initiation and being supported by the community places the student at the beginning of the development of a professional identity. We believe this ceremony is a valuable first step in the professional development of a competent and caring doctor, fostering trust in oneself and the profession by being open, honest and acting with respect and integrity. I couldn't have said it um, better, so I'm gonna link the source of where I read that in the description down below. Um, there's also a recording of the ceremony if you want to watch it. There's also some pictures from the ceremony which I'm going to put on the screen right here. And you would also have seen my post on Instagram which I'm going to include um, right here. We will all dress like really nice and take a few pictures. So yeah, we had the ceremony. So now you might be wondering why wasn't it a white coat ceremony? So here in Ireland and in the UK, doctors don't really wear white coats. Well, back home, they don't do either but like the, the the sort of symbol is not exactly the same i guess um i don't know why but like yeah so they thought um that we won't do a white coat ceremony so we don't really have white coats despite many other schools still having a white coat ceremony we only had like a stethoscope ceremony this ceremony is something that i've been looking forward to for the past seven years like i said earlier and for me this is the moment that sort of marks the, the like, like a sort of a you did it moment. Like here we are, you did it, you're finally in med school. Like this is it, you know, like this is the moment. And I've assisted, I had the privilege to assist to a few ceremonies back home, white coat ceremonies. Um, so, and I've watched like plenty of them online. So I have a pretty good idea. I had a pretty good idea of uh, what it was gonna be like. I was so excited. I, I was like nervous. I was anxious a bit. I was like, you know, really, really hyped to like finally live that moment. Like I've seen so many of my friends, basically all my friends back home are in med school as well. Um, and I've seen them all like going through the ceremony, like getting their names called, going on stage, you know, shaking the hand of the Dean of the Faculty of Medicine or the School of Medicine, and then getting their white coats on and then just like, you know, taking a picture and then moving on to the next student, you know? Um, so I kind of had a, quite a good idea of what to expect and what the ceremony is gonna be like. And usually these ceremonies last for a couple of hours, you know, cause you gotta call out everybody's name. Uh, there's a bunch of doctors who like come on and talk about their experience, what it was like, went to work an hour stage uh, and stuff like that. And yeah, um, I was just really, really excited. Like I cannot tell you how much I was waiting forward to this exact moment. Um, our ceremony lasted roughly an hour. Our names didn't get called out one by one. Well, no names at all. Um, we all read the oath at the same time as a group, which is standard, um, I guess. And yeah, it wasn't really personal. It was more of a, okay, let's do it. We're done. Okay, moving on. Yeah, I don't know how it is at other schools here in Ireland, but I it was really impersonal. I don't know, I guess it's not that big of a deal here at Trinity, sadly, because, you know, I've been waiting for so long for this day and I was really quite sad after it. Like after it was done, honestly, it was, it was really not what I expected. It was really not what it should have been because, you know, I've assisted to quite a handful of them. So I know what it's supposed to be like. Uh, I guess here in Ireland they're different and well, it is what it is. So like, 
of course I was trying to like I'm trying to look at the silver lining like of course we had the ceremony we took the oath like we took a few pictures with some friends it was all fun and stuff but when it's something that I've been that you've been waiting for the past seven years or x number of years um, and it's not exactly what you wanted it to be it's a bit frustrating especially for all the like all the hard work sacrifices blood sweat and tears that you've put in to just get to where you are right now and not have it recognized like like i expected it to um yeah it kind of like hurt a little bit but um anyways so we had the ceremony which was okay Anyways, so after the ceremony, um, me and uh, some fellow Canadian friends, we went out to a restaurant, we had a nice meal, and then, yeah, that was pretty much it. That was my experience for the transition ceremony. All right, so I changed the exposure settings now. I hope that they're gonna be uh, better. All right, so let's talk about the lectures that I have in third year. So as I said, we're mostly in hospitals every single day. However, on Tuesdays and Thursdays afternoon from like two until six, we have lectures that last for one hour. So we have roughly eight lectures per week. Of course, depending on your specialty, you're gonna have more lectures like at the hospital, depending on, you know, what you're rotating through. Um, you're gonna have like specific tutorials and stuff like that. Um, so let me tell you about which uh, courses that we have as part of third year. So we have five courses. So we have pharmacology, we have lab and investigative medicine, we have advanced clinical and professional practice, we have evidence-based medicine, and then we have medicine and surgery. So we have five big courses and then farm, well, farm is farm, like you know what farm is, you know, different classes of drugs and stuff, uh, pretty self-explanatory. Then for uh, lab and investigative medicine, so we're gonna have hematology, we're gonna have immunology, we're gonna have pathology, and um, clinical biochem and microbiology. So that's gonna be interesting. Then for advanced clinical and professional practice, so there's a clinical skills component, which is uh, where we learn like how to do physical exams, how to do procedures, like take bloods and stuff like that, suturing. Then there's a psychology and psychiatry component. Then there's an ethics component, there's interprofessional learning component, and then global determinants of health component. Um, so yeah, quite a varied class, I guess. Um, and then for medicine and surgery, well, of course, you're gonna have medicine and then you're gonna have surgery. So in medicine, for those of you who don't know, you learn about all, like it's internal medicine. So you're gonna learn all the different systems like cardio, nephrology, uh, GI, like all the gastro, like all the different things. And then we also have radiology, ENT and ophthalmology as part of that course. So yeah, it's gonna be quite interesting. I'm looking forward to um, listening to those lectures. All right, so now let's move on to the rotations and how it works in third year here at Trini. So the year is split into like three semesters. You get the first one, which is like now fall semester. You got the winter semester, which ends in like April. And then from April to the end of June, you have your like third semester or summer semester. So how it works, there's like two huge university hospitals affiliated with Trini. And then one semester, you're in one hospital the second semester in the other big hospital, and then the third semester, you're in the affiliate side. So it's hospitals that are affiliated with the university, but it's not like the main big hospitals that you do like most of your rotations in. So this semester right now, I'm in the affiliates. So what I have in my schedule, I have palliative care for four weeks. Then I have, I think a week of uh, MSK clinical skills. Then I have two weeks of ENT, or two weeks of ophthalmology. I don't know which comes first, but yeah, it's like a four week block. So two weeks ENT, two weeks ophthalmology, and then I have, I think another reading week or something. And then I have three or four weeks of general surgery. And that's my first semester. Um, I'm not sure what I'm having next semester. Uh, we did have like some preferences like to choose from. So I hope I'm gonna get what I put down as my preferences, but, only time will tell. 
and do expect to see videos on these and on my specialties and speaking of videos uh, I'm gonna tell you what the plan is for this semester so I'm planning to do like one or two videos per rotation so oh now the sun's coming out and this is gonna be overexposed yeah okay hold on I need to adjust that so I'm planning on making one or two videos per rotation. Uh, I think I'm going to be making one on like how my first week was or just like my initial impressions of the specialty. And then a second, a bit more detailed, a bit more research focused video on like the specialty and what the specialty is like in general. Now, don't expect me to like go out and like vlog in the hospitals and like showing you exactly what I'm doing inside the hospital because there's just no way I'm going to do that. First of all, for patients' privacy. Second of all, um, like you don't really do that in hospitals. I know that some people do that, but like, yeah, um, I'm not gonna do that. And if I do talk about a hypothetical patient case, um, it's never gonna be like a patient that I've seen. It's gonna be a friend of a friend of a friend who's seen a patient, anonymous patient somewhere in a hospital somewhere, in a country somewhere in the world because confidentiality is really important and I will be respecting confidentiality so don't expect too many details or case details. I will however give you typical cases or typical things, typical presentations that you would see on a given specialty. So I'm not gonna tell you, oh yeah, this patient, this, 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 but I will tell you, oh, so one of the common presentations that you will see in this specialty is this, this, this. Um, so yeah, as to make sure that confidentiality is preserved. All right, so I guess that's uh, enough for a little intro on third year. So if you have any questions, please feel free to comment them down below. If you're not subscribed yet, well, please go ahead and do so. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you can do so at ov.med. You can send me a DM over there if you have any questions. If you didn't see my previous videos, I'm gonna link them right here. Or no, it's actually the other side, yeah. I'm gonna link them right here. Yeah, um, I haven't done this in a while. So yeah, anyways, on one of the two sides, I can't remember. But uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.